Next act, it's Julia Wilson! Oh, this is the tallest Bill I've ever been on. Apart from poor little Robin at the beginning, I'm like, fucking hell, everyone's six foot one, that's awesome. I'm always the tallest chick and now I'm like, hello, ladies, it's fucking great. How is everyone? Nice. Uh, my name's Julia. I don't know anyone in the room. Uh, I get asked three questions every single week of my life. Have done since I was 16. Straight off, I get, so you're gay? I'm like, oh, we're mates, are we? All right. And then when I don't answer fast enough, oh, so you're bi. And I'm like, motherfucker, I didn't even get a fucking don't. I didn't take breath. And then I get, oh, so you're a vegan. I go, what the fuck has that got to do with the first two fucking questions? And there are vegans in the room, I have nothing but respect for you, but if I don't have enough discipline to not suck cock, I don't have enough discipline to not eat meat. Okay? Which answers one of the first two questions. But I've been getting it my whole life, but what are you? And I'm like, oh fuck, the only way I can explain this, I'm a tomboy who grew up into a tom man. It's the only way this part makes sense. Little tomboy me, little eight year old me, everything I did, I fucking loved it. You know those kids? Ah! Oh, oh, oh! Every day, I'll be like, ah! I grew up riding my BMX bike every day and I fucking loved it. Just like, oh, get fucked. <laughs> I grew up by the beach surfing, get fucked. At the back of mum and dad's house, bah, 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 with mud pies, get fucked. <laughs> that was me at eight, I'm 47 years old. The only thing that's changed is I'm taller and bigger and now I've got three fucking credit cards. Get in! <laughs> Nothing has changed. I literally, I don't ride a BMX bike anymore. I'm 111 kilos, imagine that. <laughs> I ride a 1979 Honda CB750 and I fucking love it! And I ride it the same way. Get fucked! I still surf every chance that I get, but now when I drop in on someone, they stay fucking dropped in on, let me tell you. I'm literally, I'm like, that one. Paddle, 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 poof! <laughs> get fucked. And I don't, ar, 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 mud pies, because like I'm mud intolerant now. Mm. Oh, thank you for getting that. that was a joke. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't rah, 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 mud pies. I mentioned it before. I suck a lot of cock and I do it the same way. Ah! It's the face I pull. Because oh! <laughs> there's nothing like seeing a guy being really turned on but fucking terrified at the same time. <laughs> and literally they're like, ha ha ha. Know what I love about that? Chicks are like, ha ha! And dudes are like, please don't do that. <laughs> it's actually fucking terrifying. Like, um, I might not sleep tonight to see her teeth. Fuck me. <laughs> I love this job though, I've been doing it a very long time. Uh, before I started stand up 20 years ago, what a fucking great career this has been. Uh, that sounded like I was being sarcastic. I genuinely love my job. Because I used to be a bouncer. That's why I fucking love this job, right? No one's swinging at me like, I don't give a fuck about Will Smith and, and Chris Rock. No one's swinging at me. Uh, so I used to work in really rough bars where everyone was kind of like eight foot 15 and they're all six foot across. Thank you for getting my maths joke. Um, yeah, people like, ah, oh, what? Um, so I used to work in rough bars and everyone used to just like, it was, it was a long time ago, people punched the living shit out of each other for fun on the weekend. So for me, Wednesday night through Saturday night was spent with some massive unit that I wouldn't let into the pub walking up, calling me a bunch of names and then bam, I'd cop one and then bam, I'd uppercut him. Then we'd shake hands because no one died during the experience and then I'd probably fuck him in the car park later on. <laughs> it's a different time. Um, <laughs> But I was working in this bar one night and my manager comes over to me and goes, Jules, can you fuck the pterodactyl off out of the public bar for me? And I was like, fucking what pterodactyl? That's a long word. And I had to walk into, <laughs> you've met us, we're not smart. I had to walk into the public bar and she was standing there immediately obvious, just like, mm, 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 mm. And I thought pterodactyls were a Sydney phenomenon, but it turns out they're all around Australia and in fact, all around the world. She is tiny and blonde, her makeup is immaculate. She's decided on Wednesday night what she's wearing on Saturday night. <laughs> And she's got a Prosecco with a straw because she's a lady. <laughs> and she's just like. <laughs> you give her one Prosecco and she's like, I don't like it, Gavin. And when you know that actually, Gavin, I just. <laughs> you all know her. I just saw a nudge from one woman to another. Like, you all know a pterodactyl. She's everywhere. And then you give her a second Prosecco and she's like. <laughs> you give that woman a third Prosecco, it doesn't matter if you're in Penrith or Paris, she's like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you <know> that sound? <laughs> Just, I like people are like, I know her! Like, so I go thundering into the public bar and there she is just... <laughs> just pterodactyling it up for Jesus. And her boyfriend is in fact standing eight feet away going, yeah, could you fuck her off? Because... Um, <laughs> My ear is bleeding and no one's going to fuck me with her around. And I thought, fair point. 
Now, there's this beautiful Australian tradition that says if a male bouncer has to throw out a woman, no matter what she's done, every bloke in that pub just goes, he better not fucking touch her. He fucking, if he touches her, I'm going to run in. You're going to run in. We're going to fucking run in. <laughs> but that same beautiful Australian culture says that as a woman, I'm allowed to punch fuck out of that woman. <laughs> I wouldn't because it makes me a bully, but those same blokes go, oh, it's great for him. <laughs> Don't you fucking break it up. If you fucking break it up, I'll go you. I've got 50 bucks on the big one. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a bit of a fucking unit, right? And it's, like, it's, it's something I'm aware of. It's something I cultivate. This is a lot of deadlifts and squats and bench presses, lots of steak beer blowjobs to stay this size. It's intentional. I mean to look like this. And if I don't say that, I say I'm a unit. Without fail, some fuckhead comes over and goes, oh, darling, don't call yourself a unit. That's actually quite derogatory. Don't, don't call yourself. You're actually quite pretty. <laughs> I didn't say I was ugly, I said I was a fucking chunker and a strong one at that. Watch it, I'll fuck your husband. Right? Thank you. I don't know why that gets a clap, but it does. So I have to get rid of her and she has to go and that's how it is. But everyone in that pub is like, like everyone wants to see how this goes down. So I go over and I don't want to be a bully because I am like massively bigger than her. So I'm like, g'day sweetie, up here, hi. Hi. And she's like, I know, I know, you're a big girl, aren't you? How about you, how about you fuck off home, eh? She goes, oh my God, you've eclipsed the sun. I go, I'll fucking do, now off you fuck. Now, she wants to insult me because that's what you do when you're being thrown out by a bouncer, but she looked at me and went, fuck, you're five times my size. So she did that angry princess pterodactyl storm off. You know that baby's first day out in high heels? You know those massive Milo tins with string that like 5% of women can walk in and everyone else looks like a giraffe learning to ice skate? Like, so she angry princess pterodactyl it down two flights of stairs. <laughs> she gets all the way outside to the tougher buffer, which is what we call the distance between the bouncer and the drunken fuckwit, where the drunken fuckwit can yell what they want because we're too fat and couldn't be fucked to chase them to beat them up. Right? 29 metres, nothing to say. 31, I fucked your mum! Like, What's a mum fucking at 31 metres? But <laughs> She's marching, 30 metres is the tougher buffer and she's just like... <laughs> Try not to fall off her shoes. <laughs> and she's just up and back and up and back. And after five minutes, she just goes, Aah! and I go, fuck, she's had a thought. And after five minutes, she yells out, oh yeah, well fuck you, you fat lesbian slut. And I went, ha ha, I'm not actually a lesbian. <laughs> you guys have been amazing. Have a great festival. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.